In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the activity called Get Started with Scratch. So what you want to do is just click right here, and this will take you to the Scratch program. The way this works is you're going to be building an activity here. This character is called a sprite. These are the scripts. The scripts are the commands that you're going to be using to make the program work. And you'll be dragging those over here to the area where you snap together the codes. And in this area, there's going to be the directions, the tutorial that will show you how to do it. I'm going to demonstrate the whole thing. And then when this video is over, you're going to be doing these exact th same things to practice using Scratch. In the future, we will do some different things with Scratch. But today, the goal is to get familiar with the program and the commands and how the program works. So we click on start moving and then it says drag a move block into the scripts area. So we're on motion. I go to move and I drag over here to the building area, move forward 10 steps. It says then click on that block to make the cat move. Notice if I click this, he goes forward. Oops, I got to click it here. If I click it, he moves forward a little bit. You might notice that 10 steps is actually just a little tiny bit, almost like he's moving about a centimeter or less. Now, once we finish that step, we're going to go to the next one. We're going to learn how to add a sound. So I click now add a sound. For this one, it says go to sounds, drag out a play drum block from sound and snap it onto the move block. So I go to the purple section called sound. And I go down to the one that says play the drum. And I snap it on to this one. Click and listen. Make sure your computer speakers are on. So watch. If I click on the chunk, when he goes forward, then he also plays the drum. So you can see him move forward a little bit and hear the drum play. Click here for next start a dance. At another move block, click inside the block and type a minus sign. So it shows to snap on another move block. So I go to motion, move forward 10 steps. But you see, I don't want him to keep going forward. I want him to go forward, play the drum, and then I want him to go backward. So I click inside of here and it says to add a minus sign. The minus sign is inside, it's on across the top row where the numbers are. Um, right after the zero, you should see the minus sign. It says, add another play drum block, then choose a drum from the pull down menu. It shows to pick crash symbol, but you can choose whichever one you want. So I go back to sounds, play the drum, click here, pick the sound you want. I'll try tambourine. Then you, what you do is you just click on the chunk right here. So notice now the, the sprite goes forward, plays the drum, backward, and then plays the drum sound again. If you want to try different sounds, just go ahead and check it out. So you decide which one you want. Now we're going to learn how to add a repeat block. What the repeat block is going to do is it's going to make it repeat this set of commands. Drag out a repeat block and drop it on top the stack. You want the mouth of the repeat block to wrap around the other blocks. So now I go to um, the orange section called controls. And I drag out the one repeat. And as you get close, it will open up. Click on the stack to run it. So I click it. And now it's going to repeat this whole thing 10 times. So then once it finishes its steps, now we're going to learn how to make it say something. Click looks and drag out a say block. So I go to looks and then I drag out say hello for two seconds. Notice they didn't snap it onto that chunk. It says to type in there, watch me dance. So I just click inside there and then I type watch me dance. Then it says then snap it on top of the stack. So I drag this to the top, snap it on, and now when I click this chunk, watch, a speech bubble appears. 
you send it the command to say, watch me dance. And then he does the dance routine that you programmed him to do. Now, add a way to start. So far, we've just been starting by clicking on this chunk, but we want to make it start with a play button. So it says drag out when the green flag is clicked and snap it to the top. I have to go to the category called events, drag out the when the green flag is clicked. So now this becomes the play button right here. So instead of clicking on the chunk, if I click on the green flag, it will play. If you want to stop, you just pick stop. So you see, I click on that. He said, watch me dance. Now he's doing the dance. Okay. If you want to stop before it's done, you would just pick the stop sign. Next, you can change colors. For this one, it says, now to try something different, drag out a change effect block. So I go to looks. I drag out, change the color effect by 25. It says, click to see what it does. Oh, look, when I click it, he turned green. If I click that chunk again, he turns blue, purple, pink, red. So now it says, let's make it interactive. Let's see how to do that. Snap on a one key pressed. So I go to events. It says to get when the space key is pressed. So you can leave this as the space key. See if I press the space bar. Every time I press it, the cat changes color. But if you want it to program it to do a different key, so say, for example, you're like, I want it to change when I hit the up arrow, then when you hit the up arrow on your keyboard, then he will do those, change to those colors. If I stop pressing the up arrow key, he'll stop changing colors. If I keep pressing it, he keeps changing colors. Now let's learn how to choose a background. On here it says you can add new backdrops on the stage by clicking the little mountain icon, which is right over here at the left. There's all these different choices. You can pick which one you want. You don't have to pick the one that they showed in the example. So I'm gonna pick, uh, I think I'll pick this one here, Neon Tunnel. Then I pick okay. It puts my background into the picture and I notice it switched over here to a screen called backdrops. I'm just going to click back on scripts to get it back to where I'm building. So now it says we're going to learn how to get a new sprite. So to add a sprite, all these little characters in the scratch program are called sprites. All you do is you click on this little picture of the, it looks like a little elf that will let you get a sprite. There are other options where you could draw your own or get one that you had saved. But for this lesson, we're going to just choose one from the library. So you click here. There's different categories you can go to. Scroll through. Look at the sprites that are available. And you can choose one that you would like to add into the program. So now I've got my cat and I got a flying hippo. <laughs> So you just click the one you want and oh it does say if you want to you can add this sprite click sprite and then select cassie dance let me see if i can find her mm. i don't think i see her right here but she's oh there's cassie dance so i'll try her and click ok and I guess I'll just put him over there. If you do want to delete one of these, you can just put your mouse on top of the one, do a right click and pick delete, and that would make it go away too. I'll just leave it there for now so we can see. If you want to add other characters, that's fine too. It says now explore sound or animation. So now you can just explore. So say for example, you could add commands to her, you could add more characters. Let's just pick play and see what our program does. So the cat says, watch me dance. He dances. So maybe I want to see if I can make my, if you want it to make your other characters do something, like say if I want to make my hippo do something, I would click it. And then you on your own, you could add commands to it. Like you could say, when the, 
when the 